we always say this is a place for second chances. That's our mission. So our mission is to provide specifically deserving animals a second chance at a first impression. More than 50 animals, some of the past history of neglect or special needs, are now thriving at a five-acre animal sanctuary in Kiwani County. And for the rest of them, it's simply a place to enjoy their retirement years. Tonight in small towns, Jeff Alexander pays a visit to the hobby farm known as Wilson's Wish. On a little farm just north of Luxembourg, Hi. Hey, Good morning. There's a lot of love to be found. Good girl. Love you. Do you want one? Here. Here, Miax. Oh, do you good Miax? And it's okay. like this. I love you. Thank you. All day. I love you, though. I love you, too. Every day. Give me a good one. Thank you. Good girl. Dave and Tanya Edwards called their place Wilson's Wish. In 2017, while working at the same company in Appleton, Tanya informed Dave they were suddenly the owners of a great Pyrenees named Wilson, who had had a tough life. One day she walked over to my desk and said, we have a dog. <laughs> oh, and that was Wilson, so <laughs> that kind of started the whole thing. Sadly, just two years later, Wilson passed away from cancer. But the impact he left on Dave and Tanya inspired them to give up their corporate jobs and city living for a tiny farmette in Seymour. I've always been a dog lover, Dave's a dog lover, so we thought we'll get a little place and we'll move out into the country. And the idea was that we would foster senior and special needs dogs. That was the whole plan for, for Wilson's wish, was to help other dogs like Wilson. After taking in another great Pyrenees, Dave and Tanya decided to branch out and rescue farm animals, starting with two alpacas. We often tell people the, when we got the two alpacas, you know, we, we put up a pasture and we were really excited. and. We literally went in the house that day and I was like, do we have alpacas? Like, what are we doing? So we started with two alpacas and all of a sudden a friend was like, can you take in some potbelly pigs? These pigs were in Oshkosh, somebody had them and they decided to move out of state and just left them. Then I knew of another friend who was kind of downsizing her farm and we got some donkeys. So this is Max and that's Mary Lou who then quickly grew out of the place we were in and here we are. Before leaving Seymour, Dave and Tanya tied the knot in front of their animals, then moved to Luxembourg at the end of 2020. While Tanya grew up on a hobby farm, Dave never imagined his life journey would go from corporate attorney to what Tanya describes as a farm hand. Is that ever uh, like in the plan years <laughs> no. ago? <laughs> no, no, I grew up in, uh, in California, just this side of Berkeley. So I didn't even know what a farm was. As I sit right here now, I see 10 things that needs to be done. So that's <laughs> usually I walk out and I see something and I start working on it. Dave admits though, he wouldn't trade his days now for any. Yeah, we're taking her, she's Cause I spend most of my day outside here and I just talk to him. And I'll be walking back and forth and I'll sit down next to him. And the goats is a little more risky because there's 20 of them and you sit down there all over you. You know, this far from your face, yeah, personal space they don't understand. So, but that's, that's what I do. I just love to walk around, talk to them and spend time with them. Just recently, Wilson's Wish became a licensed nonprofit and it's supported 100% through donations. Throughout the summer and fall, Dave and Tanya hold a number of events, tours, and educational programs. This farm of second chances is also a big hit with people with special needs because they can meet Junie B, the oh, blind calf, Lyle the steer, born with just three legs, or the star of the farm, Lily, who lost her back hooves as a baby to frostbite. You know, you. Being able to see them interact with the animals and, and understand that, you know, just because somebody's different than you doesn't mean that, doesn't mean that they don't deserve the same opportunities. The current roster count at Wilson's Wish is 56 animals. They all have a name and their own unique personalities. We always joke that Brad and Chad are like the guys at the end of the bar that buy you a drink and you're like, oh no, <laughs> not those guys. Dave and Tanya say their dream for Wilson's wish is to one day be able to expand and grow their mission of giving more animals like these a wonderful life. I think a lot of the animals, if they weren't here, I, I don't know where they would be. And I think that makes, I think they can tell that, I really do. Well, I mean, we're just two people, this is, 
and a lot of people will say to us, you know, we, we would love to do what you do. And that is, it's a really special feeling. In Luxembourg with photojournalist Michael Bergman, I'm Jeff Alexander for Small Towns. I am so jealous. It is. It looks like a dream life. A lot of work, obviously, but boy. A lot of love. Oh, so much love. And those wedding pictures. <laughs> Priceless. Amazing. <laughs> love it. Next week in Small Towns, Jeff takes us to a one-of-a-kind bike shop at Amro Middle School. You don't want to miss that.